Good evening, boys and girls. Welcome to Candy's Cozy Coach. My name is Candace, and my nickname is Candy. That's how I came up with that really historic name. At least I think it's pretty historic. Well, actually, the guy in the book that I'm going to be reading about is pretty histor historic. But you'll see when I read. But first, we got to do checklist. Alright, boys and girls, let's do it. Have you had dinner? Are you all full and satisfied? Check. Did you do your homework? I hope you did your homework. Check. How about your chores that are assigned to you? Did you do your chores yet? Check. Did you pick out your outfit, your clothing that you're going to be wearing for tomorrow? Check. Do you have your PJs available? Check. Did you take a bath or a shower? So that you're fresh and clean. Check. Did you brush your teeth so that they're shiny and pearly white with fresh breath? Check. And use some floss too. Get between those teeth. Use some floss. Check. Did you clean out your ears? Gotta clean out your ears too. Check. Did you brush your hair? Comb your hair? Wrap your hair? Tie up your hair? Cover your hair? Check. Do you have a nightlight? Hope you have a nightlight available. Check. Hmm. Did you clean your room? That's a separate chore from the rest of the chores that definitely needs to be done before you go to bed. Check. Hmm. Let's see. What else am I missing? Did you give your I love you's hugs and kisses to the family members that are in your house along with the pets? Check. And don't forget to give it to your friends if you have guests over as well. Let's see. What else? What else? Because I, I kind of ran through that list a little bit quick. I want to make sure I didn't leave anything out. I know we need to pray. So make sure you say your prayers before you drift off into dreamland. If I miss anything on the checklist, charge it to my heart. But, boys and girls, it is time for an awesome story. Black History Month just ended, but Black History is forever. So I have a cool story from a Penguin Young Readers Level 3 book, Jackie Robinson, He Led the Way, by April James Prince, illustrated by Robert Cassia, and with photos. So I got some photos of old Jackie Robinson. Jackie Robinson, He Led the Way. In 1947, Jackie Robinson became the first black player, player in Major League Baseball. He was a great ball player and a great man. So, all right, let's see what we got going on. Jackie Robinson, he led the way. Awesome. Jack Roosevelt Robinson was born in a small cabin in Georgia in 1919. Everyone called him Jackie. His family lived and worked on a white man's farm. Slavery had ended more than 50 years before, but often it didn't seem that way. Well, that's unfortunate. Black children could not go to school with white children. Black families could not eat in restaurants with white people or stay at the same hotels. During this segregation, it keeps popping up as I read about different historical black people that have done awesome things in the past. They had to sit in the back of public buses and in worse seats at ballparks, one day Jackie Robinson would help change all this. He did it through baseball. Baseball was the one sport out of the sports that he played that he excelled in and became famous for. Jackie's family moved to Pasadena, California when he was still a small boy. They were the only black family on their block and their neighbors did not welcome them. Boo, hiss, what kind of neighbors are those? prejudiced neighbors. But Jackie's mother told her children, we have the same rights to live here as anyone else. She did not want her children looking for trouble, but she did want them to stick up for themselves. One day, a girl called Jackie. 
mean names. Her father threw stones at Jackie. What did Jackie do? He shouted names and threw stones right back at him. If you can dish it out, you can certainly take it. That's right. You have to protect yourself. You're doing right, Jackie. In school, Jackie did okay, but in sports, he made magic. Jackie always played to win, even a in a game of tag, kids even paid Jackie to be on their team. Now, how cool is that? He was making money. Okay. All through high school and college, Jackie played sports. Football, baseball, and basketball. He set a new record for the long jump. He was a local hero. His name was always in the papers. That's pretty awesome. After college, Jackie wanted to play sports for a living, but no major team in any sport hired black players. There were all black baseball teams like the Kansas City Monarchs and the Homestead Grays. These teams had their own leagues. Fans flocked to see stars like Sancho Page and Josh Gibson. The games were fast paced and exciting. Jackie could play on one of these teams. Except for one thing, World War II had started. Even in the U.S. Army, black soldiers did not eat, sleep, or train with their soldiers, white soldiers. In the snack bar, only a few seats were set aside for blacks. We are all in this war together, Jackie told the general. And everyone should have the same rights. And I'm glad the general listened. That's important. The general agreed. Black soldiers got more seats in the snack bar. After the war, Jackie played baseball for the Kansas City Monarchs. But Jackie wasn't a monarch for long. Uh-oh, what happened? Uh, what happened was, let's see. Branch Rickey was the president of the Brooklyn Dodgers. He had heard about Jackie Robinson from a scout named Clyde Sukforth. Just like Jackie, Branch Rob Rickey hated to lose. He wanted to win a World Series. There were so many great black play ball players. Rickey thought it was time that one of them joined the Dodgers, maybe Jackie Robinson. That's right, because I realize how good black players actually are. Premier athletes. Branch Ricky asked Jackie Robinson to meet him in the New York in New York. I wanted you to play for the Dodgers, he told Jackie. You will be put down and spit upon, but you must not fight back. That will make people say that blacks don't belong in the major leagues. Do you have the guts to play no matter what? It was not Jackie Robinson's nature to keep quiet, but he decided he had to. He gave Branch Ricky his answer. Yes. That's good for him. Very good. In 1946, Jackie married his college sweetheart, Rachel Isham. She traveled with him to spring training in Florida. Jackie played his first season on a Dodgers minor league team. This was like practice for the major leagues. As always, he played to win. He led the league in hitting and was tied in runs scored. He was second in stolen bases. Boy, Jackie is doing some amazing things. Wow. I'm glad I'm reading this book. So on April 15, 1947, Jackie Robinson made history as the first black ball player in the major leagues. He stepped onto Ebbets Field in Brooklyn. He was wearing a Dodgers uniform. He was their new face first baseman. He said it was a dream come true. I bet it was. That's pretty awesome. Very awesome. Branch Ricky warning, uh, warning also came true. Once again, people called Jackie mean names. He got hateful letters 
at games, pictures on the other team, threw balls at his head on purpose. Even many of the Dodgers did not want him around. Jackie took it all in silence. So he really was under undue stress because he should not have had to do that. But lots of fans adored Jackie right from the start. His courage and flashy play proved that blacks belonged in the major leagues. Jackie hit and ran as well as the best of his white teammates. So that's important to know. People are just humans. People are just people. Let them just be. But he had a way of stealing bases that was all his own. Jackie could steal home plate. He would dance on and off third base. Then he danced down the baseline. The next moment, he was sliding into home plate. Score! Jackie was named Rookie of the Year. So he knew how to steal bases. Ooh-wee. You want him on your team for sure. But 1949, Jackie had, by 1949, Jackie had been quiet long enough. Now he spoke up when umpires made bad calls. That's right. You can only do that for so long. Suppression is not a healthy thing. So you have to speak up and speak out and speak to whoever you need to speak to. And he talked back to ball players and other teams on other teams. Jackie lost some fans, but he was standing up for his rights, not just in baseball, but in all of America. In 1949, he was voted the National League's most valuable player. It was a great honor. Jackie deserved it. Yes, he did. He definitely deserved it. Jackie helped the Dodgers get to the World Series six times. Five times they lost. Then in 1955, they finally won. Jackie said the win was one of the greatest thrills of my life. I bet it was. To actually win a World Series, who would have thought? By that time, there were almost 40 black players on major league teams. There were blacks in other pro sports, too. Jackie Robinson had helped change America. And they finally started to play the real players. That's what they happened to do. That's right. I don't know what they was missing out on. Thank you very much, Jackie. Jackie played in the major leagues for 10 years. Then he became a businessman. He spent more time with Rachel and their three children, and he kept working for equal rights. So I like that he was an activist, working for equal rights, not just playing baseball. That's awesome. In 1962, Jackie was the first black man voted into the Baseball Hall of Fame. Jackie lived by... To be 53, oh wow, he was a young man. He showed America that talent is not based on his skin color. Jackie Robinson was a great ball player and a great American. Now that's awesome. You gotta appreciate that. And this is the end of the story. Great early learner read there, guys, and a little history to go along with it. So, what? Wow, you guys possibly dream of being the first at whatever you decide to be in your dream. Once you said your prayers and you're in your bed, snug as a bug in a rug, tucked in tight under your blankets, hugging your cuddle buddies. See, you're going to close your eyes, whisper to yourself what you would like to dream about. Relax your body and your mind and just be at ease and comfortable knowing that you are safe and be still and allow your body to drift off into dreamland so you can have that special dream. Okay, boys and girls, I will see you next time. Have a good night. Bye-bye.